Welcome to Back to Bed. Developed by Bedtime Digital Games, we have what I can best describe as a indie puzzle game, which was released on the 6th of August 2014. I found this little gem for free via Steam promotion for a few days. It then sat in my Steam library until I spotted it once again today and decided to fire it up and to see what it was all about. So, first and foremost, the options. On the title screen, you have a little button you can tap to mute everything, which I guess is always handy. And then you have the old cogwheel, which will take you to the rest of the options you have available to you. From the top, we have language settings. Plenty to pick from. Um, I was honestly quite surprised by how many you actually had to pick from, um, which is, well, it's a nice touch. Image effects. I'll honestly say I have no idea what this is. And with no hover over tooltip, um, I just left it on as it was by default. Turning it off in game, I saw no difference whatsoever really. AA settings are pretty much as standard. Resolutions, and there's plenty of them to pick from. I think pretty much every resolution you could desire is covered. Uh, there's not much more to say on this one. Full screen is either on or off. Again, borderless windowed is missing, which is, well, it's a slight shame. V-Sync on or off which is pretty basic stuff again. Now for the interesting bits of this menu. There's a couple of things I want to quickly talk about here. When you boot up the game, you are informed pretty much straight away that you should play this game with a control pad. So when you go into the controls and check out mapping, you'd expect the buttons to be reconfigurable. Uh, no, that's not there. But along with this, controls for keyboard and mouse play are not even in the menu here. Thankfully, as you play the game, it does instruct you on how to play, and this is with the use of keyboard and mouse. And while it recommends you play with a gamepad, I found no problem with a mouse whatsoever. The other thing that is noticeably missing here is one of the features I request in all the games I look at. Where are my sliders? No volume sliders at all, which means you will have to wander over yet again to the sound control panel in Windows and adjust it accordingly, which is, well, it's a huge shame, really. Um, okay, so enough of the options, let's just get into the game. You play as what I can guess is a dog with an odd face who has to help his master, who is named Bob, get back to bed. This is done via picking up objects, which so far um, I've only really seen apples and not much else and dropping them in the path of Bob. Bob will always turn clockwise when he walks into something. So there is a method to this madness. As you can see graphically, it's quite wonderful. At least it is um, to my tastes. It's easily got an essence of Salvador Dali about it, which is fantastic in my opinion. The difficulty curve has been pretty mild so far. The puzzle aspect has been pretty forgiving and it's a simple case of trial and error. So you can let Bob fall off a few times, and there's no real consequence to that. Which makes it, well, a relaxing experience overall. The soundtrack is very fitting, and so far I have actually enjoyed it. The narrator can be slightly annoying at times though. Having subtitles on helps a lot. Sadly, the narrator can be hard to understand at times. It sometimes reminds me of the self-recorded narrative from the Dungeon Keeper custom campaigns. 90% of the time, I have absolutely no idea what the hell's being said in those. It's not as bad as that in this game, um, absolutely not. But there are certain moments where things are said and, well, you'll be glad that the subtitles are there. Like I said, I was lucky enough to get this for free. That could happen again, I guess. Um, but as of right now on Steam, it's going for a mere £4.49. This is easily a decent price for this game. While I have not played it too much, as of yet at least, I have enjoyed my time in Back to Bed. A nice relaxing puzzle game from an indie dev who clearly has a love for a certain form of art, and took a basic concept when it comes to puzzlers, and gave us something wonderful. For saying I disliked puzzle games for quite a while, um, they appear well, more and more in my recordings these days. I'll mention here too um, that this game comes with a handful of Steam achievements, which is always nice. And also those trading cards that you little buggers love to collect oh so much. Um, 
or is that just me? Um, I don't know. You'll also notice that on the game screen, there is a nice fast forward button, and you'll be using this quite a lot. Uh, Bob can wander a little bit slowly at times, so yeah, you do want to speed him up a bit, because otherwise you'll be standing there for ages waiting for him to actually do something. Uh, on that note though, I've really enjoyed this game. It's quite fun. Link to the uh, Steam store page is uh, going down there somewhere in the description. Also have a link down there to the dev's website. And while we're at it, one to Salvador Dali's online museum. There's even a virtual tour there to check out, which is rather cool. Now, I'm going to carry on playing this uh, dog thing and see if I can get further into the game. I swear a lot less at puzzle games these days. Um, I guess that's a good thing. I'll see you again next time.